Hello there guys, so I'm here and I'm going to show you how to make, um, oh by the way, it's like 6.42 in the morning, so excuse me my voice, I might be sounding kind of like a me or something, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm making my breakfast early, early in the morning before I head to the gym for a early morning workout and so yeah so I'm gonna make I'm gonna be making uh, my paleo pan banana pancakes so I'm gonna show you by the way I have um, the stove is on and I have this um, pot here now it's better if you use a pan like a frying pan because it's easier to um, to flip the, uh, the pancakes but I don't have, uh, I, don't, I couldn't find one right now, I'm going to have to buy another one, probably a small one. Uh, but that's better, if you have one of those, you go ahead and use those. Because this one, the thing is, you know, the way it's made, you know, for the shape it has, it's harder to, um, you know, for the, to flip the, the pancakes. So let's get started. So let me show you what I'm gonna be using. All you need, and this is for just two pancakes, okay? Just two, because it's for me. And I mean, I could have four, yeah, but you know, I don't wanna overdo it or anything. I feel like having two pancakes. So if you wanna have more pancakes, or if you, if you wanna make pancakes for your family or whatever, uh, you're gonna need, you know, more ingredients. But for two pancakes, this is what you need: one egg okay and one banana and I have two strawberries here uh, you can use blueberries I mean that's per personal preference I personally I tend to prefer strawberries over blueberries but next time I'm gonna try to make it with blueberries because I don't know maybe blueberries might go better uh, for the pancakes so what I'm gonna do, so like I said, I have, uh, this is on, this is uh, getting warm, so real quick, I'm gonna slice the, and let me show you actually, hold on, this is the first time I'm making this kind of video, so you're gonna have to, to bear with me, <laughs> I'm gonna put the oven just a little bit, like on low, so I can, while I do this, See, so I'm gonna slice the strawberries. And you know, have them ready to put in the mix. Once the mix is, um, hope you can see, I'm just slicing the strawberries. I mean, it's nothing, nothing hard. <laughs> that. I'm gonna cut them a little bit smaller. Okay, see so I have the strawberries like that. Okay, this is almost ready. Oh, I'm gonna grab the banana. And, hold on a minute. Okay, I'm back. So I have the banana here, okay, on this uh, plate, and I'm gonna cut it. In pieces, just like this, you know, like small banana pieces. Um, let's see, I'm gonna grab a fork uh, smash the banana first with the fork okay see I should have one of those um, transparent containers so you can see exactly what I'm doing and I'm actually gonna grab the camera and show you how the the stuff looks okay so you want to smash it pretty good 
Because then you're going to have to put the egg on here and yeah, you want it to be as much as possible so then the mix is has a better consistency, okay? So, so yeah, so see, so that's the smashed banana there. Okay, and now I'm going to add the egg onto the mix. I haven't made, made this kind of videos before and I don't think my tripod would work because I'm trying to find like a smaller, okay, so I put the egg there, okay, with the smashed banana. Uh, my tripod is like too high for these kind of things. I mean, it works fine like if I'm sitting on, on the sofa, but not so much for this. Oh, and now, as you can see, I'm just mixing the whole thing. The banana and the egg. So that's all you need, I mean, basically. And I'm gonna keep on smashing it like that. I can't wait to have these pancakes. I'm hungry. <laughs> See? So just one egg and one banana, that's all. Put the strawberries there. On the mix. So that's ready. I'm gonna mix it like that. Okay. And now... Oops. I turn off the... The stove. Um, now I'm gonna grab a measuring cup. All right. All righty. I'm back, guys. And something that I almost forgot to put on the um, pot here is coconut oil. Okay, pure coconut oil. And this is great. I mean, I cook everything with this. It's just fantastic. Hello, everyone, and I'm back. And well, you might not notice because, yeah, oh, you cannot see me much this time. <sighs> Yesterday, when I was recording the video, I ran out of memory um, in the middle of the, the video. So, <laughs> so I have to like film it. I have to do everything again now, and I'm gonna. I decided to start filming, of course, where we left off. Okay, so, all right, let's get start. Uh, let's keep going. So I have my pot here, and it's hot, and it's ready for me to put a little bit, just a little bit of um, coconut oil. Okay, one like teaspoon. I mean, you don't need more. It's just so you know it doesn't stick to the the pancake doesn't stick to the to the pot or the pan, whatever you're using. So I'm going to put this away. And I have the this measuring jar with the mix. Okay, it's about like one third per pancake. And I'm going to make sure that the coconut oil gets all over the base of, of the pot or the pan, whatever you're using. I need to get a pan. I need to get a small pan to to do this. I mean, it's gonna be much better. All right. Well, I think this is ready, so I'm gonna put the mix. Okay. I'm gonna put the mix like that. I'm gonna grab the camera for a second and show you how that looks. Okay, see, so um, I'm gonna wait not too long. I mean, this cooks very, very quickly. So uh, that's the mix over there. And we can move this a little bit if you want. But that should be okay. So I'm gonna wait like about, I don't know, I would say a minute or so. You can, you know, you check on the bottom to see if it's getting... Uh, a little bit brownish and so when you feel like you know you're ready to to flip it uh you're gonna do that okay so i'm gonna cut the video here 
and come back uh, once I flip it and show you guys how it's going, okay? See how it looks now? Uh, so this is the bad thing about not doing it in a pan, like I said. Because in a pan you can flip it easier. Here it's like a whole mess when I try to flip it. You know, so it doesn't look very round and cute like I would like to. But, you know, I mean, as long as it's uh, <laughs> okay to eat and well cooked, that's, that's what matters most. But, you know, if you care about the presentation, uh, like I said, uh, a small pan, frying pan, uh, would be better than this, okay? So, I'm gonna make the other pancake and I'll be back when I have everything ready to have my breakfast. Alright guys, so I'm all ready to enjoy my breakfast and yeah, as you can see, <laughs> especially the one on top, it looks really, really weird. I mean, that is not what I would put on a cooking magazine, you know. <laughs> but um, I don't know, what I care is about, it tastes good, tastes, you know, it's healthy for me, it's good for me. And as you can see here, I added uh, a tablespoon of um, almond butter. Like I said, I know it looks like peanut butter, but it's actually almond butter. But it's not the most pure one, because like I said, um, it's super expensive. And I just didn't feel like spending 13 bucks for a really small jar of almond butter. So yep, and I have my coffee there. So ready. And yeah guys, well that's it. I'm going to go have breakfast because I have stuff to do. And thank you so so much for watching and if you like this video, if you find it helpful, don't forget to uh, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, alright? And I'll be back with a new video on a Monday and feel free, like I always say, to request um, any videos that you would like to see. Okay, so have a great great weekend and I'll be back with another video on Monday. Bye!